everybody, welcome back to the Goff House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today I've got a haul for you. I am just wrapping up my Thanksgiving shopping. I did get my turkey in another haul, um, and I did not film that. I should have. I'm terrible about filming hauls lately. I don't know why. Every time I do one, I, I, I don't film it. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you what I got today. Today I went to the Restaurant Depot in Phoenix and um, this is what I got. Um, I got these, this stuff, and I have a couple bags of flour over there. So first thing I got, two bags of bread flour, 50 pounds each, so it's 100 pounds of bread flour, and I spent $13 each bag. So $26 for 100 pounds of bread flour. Now I go through bread flour fast because I make all of our bread and I, it's something I just do even not because of everything that's been going on. <laughs> so I got those. Um, I got 50 pounds of sugar and actually the granulated sugar was expensive today. This was $28 and this was really my only choice. Um, the rest of the sugar was gone. <laughs> I needed two, so I do need to go back and get another one when they have more sugar in stock and for a better price than that. Um, this is 30 pounds of butter, and I did salted butter versus unsalted because I use it more, and I still use it in baked goods anyway, um, but when I see them on sale, I'll just grab unsalted for baking. So 30 pounds of butter. I spent $55 on this, and I think that makes it come out to like $1.65 or something like that. Uh, they're close to it per pound. I got three logs of goat cheese, and these were $5 a piece, and these are bigger logs. Um, they are 11 ounce logs, and this one is goat cheese with blueberry, and is that the blueberry cinnamon one? Oh, blueberry vanilla. <laughs> this is blueberry vanilla goat cheese log. This one is the honey goat cheese log and the cranberry and orange peel goat cheese log. Um, so these will go on the charcuterie board for Thanksgiving. That's part of the Thanksgiving haul. And then coffee. These are the big coffees, the 48 ounces, three pounds of coffee, $6.99 at the Restaurant Depot this week. It was a sale. So that was pretty darn good, so I grabbed three. And then uh, all-purpose flour. These were also $13 a piece, so $26 for 100 pounds of all-purpose flour. And um, Christmas is coming, and I do actually bake. I always bake and give the neighbors baked goods, plus our family. So um, I grabbed my 100 pounds, and I realized I was completely out of flour. So probably 50 pounds for the baking season, and the other 50 just to have for regular use for the next, um, to last us through February. So. So at the Restaurant Depot, my total was $173 and some change. Okay, here is my Trader Joe's haul, and I spent $77.41. I know you can't see it, it doesn't. <laughs> $77.41, okay. So from Trader Joe's, I picked up uh, Danish Kringle. This I'm going to serve the morning of Thanksgiving for part of the breakfast because it's done already and I don't have to worry about it. And if you have never had uh, Danish Kringle from <laughs> Trader Joe's, this one's the almond one. Oh my gosh. I look forward to this every year. Um, they do have a pumpkin one too and the pumpkin one I've bought for Thanksgiving before. I like it, but I like the uh, almond one the best. I got two um, tomato paste. These are Italian tomato paste, and these were 79 cents a piece. I got a box of brioche toast for the charcuterie board, and these were $1.99. Um, pita bite crackers, these were $2.49. And then some coconut whip topping, some manzella olives, manzanilla, manzanilla olives. <laughs> I got some pub cheese with horseradish. I got a jar of Italian olives. And then these are the other cheeses for the um, charcuterie board. And uh, Stephanie got the meat for the board and it's at her house. So. <laughs> so you won't get to see everything on the board today, but I'll probably film a little bit for you on Thanksgiving. Just a little bit of chill stuff, you know, vloggy type. Anyway, I got manchego cheese, and this is 
a little less than half a pound, and that was for six twenty-four. Manchego cheese is my very favorite, um, hence the uh, this. You ever seen these little tapas things? I don't know if they have them where you are. I love these. This is my favorite snack. This and olives, oh my gosh, is my favorite. I would eat this for dinner. <laughs> anyway, and this was $4.49. I see this over to like Safeway and it's $10. It's $9.99 at Safeway. So I grab them at Trader's um, when I go over there. And then um, French Brie, we, it's triple cream. Um, Toscano with Chardonnay. It's been soaked in Chardonnay. And then um, Gouda. And then a Stilton. And then, of course, this was um, $5 for the Stilton. The Gouda was $4.22. Uh, $5.59 for the Creamy Toscano Cheese soaked in Chardonnay. And the, the triple cream brie was six seventeen. Triple cream is always a little bit more expensive, but this is my favorite. We buy this usually Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve. <laughs> I got two bags of raw pecan halves for, I think instead of doing pecan pie this year, I'm going to do uh, pecan squares, pecan pie squares. Um, a little bit easier. But these are eight ounces each, and they were uh, $4.99 each. So not... Not a really good price for pecans, so a pound for $10. Um, got a little box of dark chocolate sea salt caramels. There's four in there. And then a bag of coins, chocolate coins. These were $1.99. These chocolates were also $1.99. But, you know, uh, Rory has already eaten most of the coins, or she's got them with her somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> That's what's left. You know, we did this shopping like we got home two hours ago, so that's all that's left. <laughs> so that's my little trader haul. Mainly we went there just for the cheeses for the cheese board. So not bad price at $77 since we did get all of this cheese. Okay, here is my Safeway haul. My Safeway was, how much did I spend? I spent $24.24 at Safeway. Um, Safeway had a couple of sale items. I really just went there because it's right up the street to get a couple of things. Um, butter was 74 cents each, so I got two pounds of butter for $1.48. Uh, potatoes, five pound bags, were 25 cents, so I got um, two bags of potatoes, so 10 pounds of potatoes for 50 cents. And then um, I didn't know that these were going to be on sale, but where I am in Phoenix, it gets scarce trying to find toilet paper and my normal Kroger store is completely out of it already. So when I went to Safeway, you could only get two, so I grabbed um, two toilet papers and two paper towels, and they were $4.50 each. I'm happy to have found them because um, the last go around, we actually ran out of paper towel, and I don't, I don't think I had paper towel for like two, three months through the summertime. I just could we couldn't find it anywhere. So um, we never ran out of toilet paper because each time we'd be just about where we were going to run out, I'd find one at like a dollar store or something. <laughs> Anyway, and then I got bagels. Um, there were four bagels. Uh, I already ate one. Uh, this was yesterday's haul. I did this yesterday, so um, it was a bagel for breakfast. So that's what I got. Not a bad deal for $24.24. All right, here is my fries haul. I know in this, in this light it doesn't look like very much, but this ended up being $142. Now, I did go armed with coupons and... Apparently, my total coupon savings were $41.36. And then using my VIP card, um, and I actually go on to the Fry's app. It's my Kroger store. And then I load the coupons from there also and load the savings. And I'm sure you can't see it. But um, it, it won't do it. It's not going to focus. Anywho, it was, I think, a pretty good haul. So, I'm going to go through it. Um, cereal. These cereals were on sale for for $10, and if you bought this, you got one milk for free. So I got one of these for free. The other one was $2.59, I want to say. So not a superb deal on milk, but I got one for free, so I'm super excited about that. 
Um, oyster crackers, I use these for part of the preheat for Thanksgiving. Um, these I mix with ranch seasoning, a little bit of oil and ranch seasoning. Oh my gosh, they're the greatest thing on earth and I always put extra garlic in them. Um, 79 cents each for those. Um, of course you see the Chex Mix and then I got the Kroger brand oat squares and these these oat squares were $1.49. These pretzels were, I want to say, $1.19. And those are going to go for also Thanksgiving preheat. And that is for Chex Mix. I got soda, four for $10. Um, we're not big soda drinkers. I buy it around the holidays. Only we had, you know, this year we're not hosting a ton of people. We have uh, our best friends coming over. And that's who um, we see all the time so and there's two of them and then their two sons <laughs> and then our children that's it for thanksgiving but anyway it's kind of a special treat because the littles like to have some we give them watered down soda and the kids like to have a little bit so anyway so we got four of those for ten dollars um this 18 count eggs i think were a dollar I want to say they were $1.59 ish, and then I had a coupon for 55 cents off. Um, butter. Butter was on sale for 99 cents a pound, and I had three coupons for butter for 55 cents off. I'm super excited about that. So I got each of these for 44 cents. So that made me super happy. It was a good butter score yesterday. Obviously, I got a ton of butter. <laughs> But the holidays are coming, and this will get us through until probably the end of January, all the butter that I bought. And that goes for Christmas baking as well. That's for all the cookies, fudge, you name it. The, I've got the butter for it now. Um, I got a two-pack of cream cheese. This was $4.79, and I had a $1.25 off coupon for this. Um, these were three, to, or three for $5, also a good deal. I use a lot of cream cheese for holiday baking, and um, for Thanksgiving, I'll probably make a cheese ball, and I'll make chicken dip. I got a video already for you on chicken dip, so I'll probably put that out Thanksgiving week. And cheese balls. Cheese. Um, they were four to four bags of cheese for $5. So I got four bags of cheese that cost me $5, but I had two coupons, and they were for $0.85 cents off. So I got $0.85 cents off these two and $0.85 cents off these two. So um, that was pretty darn good. So a little over $3 for cheese. I got this cheese for free. I had a free coupon. Um, these were not on sale. They were $3.29 each, but I had a coupon for $1.85 off if you bought two. So I got two because I bought bagels yesterday also. I got poultry seasoning, not on sale, FYI. But I haven't bought a can in like three years and I used the last of it. Dawn dish soap, the big one, $3.99. Um, and of course, my favorite stuff in the world. I'm always scared I'm going to run out. So they didn't have the big jars available in any of my stores for like months. I just now found a big jar of it. I've been using up little ones. Um, so I'm super excited. And this was $6.59. That was a little bit more at Fry's, but I didn't want to take the chance of running to Winco to get it cheaper and then them not having it. So I just bought it. Um, this is 32 ounces of cheese. This was on sale for $6, but I had a $1.85 off coupon for this, so I got it for a good price. Lemons, let me tell you about lemons. This bag was $2.49. I'm super not happy because I buy bags of lemons every week, and usually I get three pound bags for $2.99, and they were out of those bags, and so I had to get these. Um, I drink lemon water every morning for multiple health reasons, but I don't like to go without it because um, it really helps my stomach and digestive system. So I, I have to have them every morning. So I bought them anyway against my better judgment. That was a terrible deal. But that's okay. I got plenty of other good deals. Um, I got two bunches of celery for Thanksgiving. I got two bunches of green onion. These were a dollar. These were a dollar twenty a piece. So not a very good deal on celery. Um, I should have went down to the other market and got them for 40 cents a piece or 39 cents a piece. These carrots were two dollars. I think that's two pounds. I got herbs. Um, I got rosemary on a woohoo deal for 99 cents. Otherwise, these were a dollar 99.
I got four garlics. Those were two for a dollar. Um, Brussels sprouts were on sale a pound for 67 cents. So I got Brussels sprouts. Um, cranberry sauce. I just bought the canned stuff. You, there's multi-purposes for this, but also on Thanksgiving, if I make homemade cranberry sauce from real cranberries, nobody will eat it. They don't like it. They like this, but they do not like the homemade cranberry sauce with the whole cranberries. So I don't even bother anymore. I've wasted so much of it. I'm the only one who eats it. <laughs> um, half and half. This was $1.99. I had a 55 cent off coupon for this. And then I was super happy that Kim Crawford and Kendall Jackson were both on sale. Actually, Kendall Jackson I got for like $8.99 a bottle and Kim Crawford $9.99. Super good prices. So I got two Kendall Jacksons and one Kim Crawford. This is for Thanksgiving. And then I got three pumpkin spice coffee creamers, $1.99 each. And that right there, that is my guilty pleasure. Uh, when it comes to this season, I'll just use, you know, <laughs> regular half and half all year. But then when it comes to this time of year, oh my gosh. And it has to be that Kroger brand. I do not like any other brand of pumpkin spice coffee creamer. This one is less sweet, more spice. It's perfect. Whatever recipe they have, it's down pat. Okay, so that's my haul. I am pretty set for Thanksgiving. I have one more trip to make over to the Walmart for eggs and I need a couple other little things and deodorant. It's way cheaper at Walmart. <laughs> So when I get that one done, I'll probably do another quick haul for you. All in all, most of the things I got were pretty good deals. I'm happy to have been able to stock up on flour, sugar, coffee, um, you know, some of the stuff was stock up stuff. Some of it is for Thanksgiving and to have a beautiful charcuterie board. I already have everything to make the Thanksgiving dinner. It was mainly about getting the cheeses for extras and then I needed poultry seasoning. Um, and wine. I was out of white wine and I literally, and I have a video on this, but I cook my turkey in one bottle of white wine and I bought a Kendall Jackson for that. So I flip my bird upside down and cook it breast side down in the white wine and then I make gravy out of it. I know I have a video on it. I'll link it in the description box below if you're interested. Um, but it turns out perfect every time and I love it. So if you are a wine lover, check it out. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.